Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we got the weapon mod currently equipped in my character's hands here. This is the Six Messengers Derringer mod, or also known as the Lady Killer. The reason this is called the Lady Killer is because ladies would kill people with this gun, because it's a tiny little pocket gun. It's not technically a pocket pistol, according to Wikipedia, as I'm reading here. Um, it's a small handgun that is neither a revolver nor a semi-fully automatic pistol. It has multiple barrels that you can kind of see that design here. We have four shots. And then you can see on the reload there, you put four bullets back in. This is a .45 by default once you have this weapon for yourselves. There's two legendary variants we'll get to later on in the video. You can also craft it for yourself at the chemistry station or find it you know, actually on civilians. This is not like a mod where you'd find this weapon on raiders or whatever because it's a, it's a tiny little self-defense weapon, okay? This is like pull that shit out of your purse as, as Wikipedia has said here and, you know, put a little bit of hurt on somebody. Hey, don't fuck with me. Now, it's a nice looking weapon model too. This does look quite nice, I think. It does look obviously kind of rusted and old, but that makes sense because it's not, you know, like <laughs> no one's caring about maintaining these things in the apocalypse. They're not super effective, but I bet they would still work. 45 damage there by default in a body shot is 90, you know, double damage if you hit the head shot. Um, let's take a look at the customization, but real quick, we'll show you how you can craft this for yourself if you want to do so. We'll also show off at least one of the legendary variants. Um, you can craft it for yourself here. It's a second utility section, but you need it. one adhesive, a flare gun, and the gear. Um, obviously, you get the flare gun pretty early in the game from the minimum -min quest line, and you can turn it into this. I guess it's point. It's not point four five. It's point three eight ammo. It does 45 damage. That's where I messed up. With. So it does use, like, the cheapest... Easiest to find ammo in the game. Let's see if we can, you know, do anything customization with this to make it even more powerful, though. Because, I mean, that's it. Just a receiver. Just a simple little mod here. But you can put an advanced receiver with 100 fire rate and 99 damage. It's a nice little pocket pistol. Obviously, there's nothing else to it because it's just, it's not, you're not going to put a long barrel on this. You're not going to put a scope on it. You're not going to do any crazy shit. You got a four barrel. Not quite a revolver, not quite a semi auto pistol. That does 100 damage. Now, or, yeah. I mean, I can shoot that thing really quick, right? Like, and that, that'll kill something. And obviously, we're going to have to test this out in some combat to see how effective these shots are. I mean, I'm reloading it pretty quick, too. I do have the quick hands perk. You know, generally pretty quick as a character, but it just, it just feel nice to use, right? It's almost like, very, I mean, at close range, you can spam that out and something dies. 500 damage is quite a bit when you spam that out, especially if you get some headshots in there, you know. I don't know why it's aiming at the target or the turret. You can get lots of bat shots on deck. Let's see what that kind of looks like here. That, that fast fire rate doesn't matter in bat, right? And then obviously you can keep putting targets on range. The reload is really quick. Reload it again. Pop. Right? Like, putting down a decent amount of damage. It's a simple little gun. Simple little pocket pistol. I like this gun a lot, though, already. I just like it. I, I mean, I love the idea of the Derringer being, you know, your little purse pistol. Or whatever that you just pull out. Backup weapon. Switch too quickly. Bah, 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 bah. Like just especially with the spammy fire rate on this maximum receiver. You just spam that out, kill one thing, and then you switch guns before you even hit that reload animation and back to your rifle or whatever. It just is an emergency pull out, quick, finish something off, maybe kill a couple of the ghouls, whatever the deal is. I think there's some interesting stuff with that. Obviously we gotta check it out in some combat though. It does look nice though. It does look like the flare gun though. Flare gun base model if you put quad barrels on it and stuff. And like I said, pretty simple mod. We'll see how it works. You know, 100 range is a lot. We'll see. We'll test this effect on this in VATS, third person, all the things. And I will see you guys when we get there. All right, everybody. Pulling up here. Zombies are in our arcade mode. Weapon does look quite nice. Let's let's shoot some zombies with it or something. I don't know. We'll figure out what we're doing with it here in a second. Um, let's go to the USAF Satellite Station Olivia. We always go to Super Duper Mart. Too much. Too much. There's too many dead bodies. <laughs> Already is really the deal. I guess, I mean... Do we want to, I mean, we could shoot Raiders. That's fine. Like a, like a little bit of getting shot back at. Because we're going to have to test whether the reload's really biting us in the ass. Not that my character's going to take any kind of particular amount of actual damage. I think I just heard somebody over here. I have a really good footsteps mod. i got to cover this in a video sometimes. But, like, it's tough to describe a footstep mod. So this mod, I want to mention, too. The, the, the battle is apparently back. Are you a melee weapon, sir? That man just burned himself to death. This mod does do extra sneak attack and critical damage. Like, that's not listed there, but it does do that, apparently, according to the six messenger of the mod author, right? I believe everything's dead in there, because the raider decided to throw the Molotov. You know, maybe just don't do that next time, dude. It didn't work out very well for you. I want your stim pack, though. You never can have too many stim packs, right? They're free weight. Let's see if we can sneak around. Let's see if we can compare that. I mean, obviously, 
these raiders are not damage measuring targets, and they're not going to tell me exactly how much damage I do, but if I hit this person in sneak attack, they should, you know, apparently that didn't hit, it didn't it decided not to. The gun is loud, though, so sneak attacks are not going to be the easiest thing, but in certain situations, I mean, it's a regular raider, right? We're doing good damage. One-shotting them with a sneak attack is valuable. My phone just went really loud off in your fucking area, and I apologize for that. But yeah, obviously you can obviously do manually critical too, right? Like where you could save them up in vats, we could do all that stuff as well. Hello? Okay, what's up? Hello? Is anybody here still? Where did all the raiders go? They're dead. No, oh, I'm not hiding. I mean, this this thing's fire rate is quite effective, and, and using the cheapest ammunition in the game, it's quite a fun little pistol. I love pistols, though. Like, not as much as I love shotguns. This is, this is a tier list of weapons for me. Shotguns is number one. Pistols is probably number two. And I love a hard-hitting one. And I love spamming ones. Each to their own little different degree. So obviously we gotta test this out in third person. We gotta see how the animations work, see how everything looks, make sure it's all running properly. Cause I'd hate to recommend you guys a mod like this, which is tiny. This is like two, I don't know, maybe it's kilobytes even, right? As I say, like two megabytes. So this actually might be kilobyte size file mod. It looks just fine, at least for me, in terms of my animation set, doing pistol stuff. That worked just fine. That man, I mean, he got one shot. This thing is quite effective for what it is too. I really got to give it props for that. Obviously, we we got spammy fire too. We're not even going to be able to get to that necessarily. What? what? I mean, that spammy rate. Yeah, let's just take cover. Like, raiders are dumb. Raiders are dumb. Why am I, why am I getting stuck on the fucking files on the ground? Um, bat shots on deck? They're right there, right? I mean, that's pretty good bats accuracy for this range, right? It's a headshot. That man's dead. It's another one. Oh, that's on. Whatever. They're still dead, right? Like... Vast accuracy is quite good for this weapon. And you can get a lot of shots off. And it, and the critical damage makes it so you do kind of want to use it in vats. Or at least sneak around with it sometimes. It's a cool little gun. It's a simple little gun. I like that. I like a gun that is just kind of good and fun to use and effective on its own merits. Obviously, I do like customizing weapons to a certain degree when there's functional customization. But I know I've been covering a lot of guns recently. Like all the Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 guns. And I got another one of those videos coming up probably later this week even. Um... But it's just gonna—it's just too much customization that doesn't really do anything. This mod is a tiny little spam pistol. That's wonderful. I love this thing. I love this little gun. It's a fun little gun. So you guys, let me know what you think of the Derringer, the Late Killer. Um, Six Messenger is gonna be watching this video, so hi. Appreciate you making continue to make good mods, so I can continue to make these good videos. I appreciate that. Um, <laughs> But yeah, if you guys want to check out this mod for yourselves, make sure to check out the top link in the description. There'll be a link there to the Bethesda on their page and the Nexus mod page. You can download this mod for yourselves there. If you guys would like to, leave a comment. Let me know what you think, right? I want to know what you think. You tell me how, what you think of the Derringer. Are you going to use it for yourself or not? All that stuff. If you guys have enjoyed the video, like the video. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure to subscribe so that we can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.